Let's cut across to the latest updates coming in in the Mumbai hit and run case where a Shinde Sena Neta's son rammed into a couple, killing one instantly. Now, what we're picking up based on the information we have is that the car which the accused was driving, a white BMW, did not have insurance that had expired as well. The car was abandoned by the accused, who's currently on the run. 24-year-old Mihir is yet to be nabbed by the police. He'd abandoned the car in Kalanagar area of Bandra. Mihir has been named as the main and the only accused at this point. His girlfriend is being questioned by the cops for any leads on his whereabouts. His father, who is a Shinde Sena Neta, Rajesh Shah, has been taken into custody. He's currently detained, not arrested. Driver Ra Raj Rishi Bidawat has also been detained by the police. And this is all to ensure that the cops can get leads on the whereabouts of the main accused. Dev Kotak is joining us live with more details on this. Dev, shocking details emerging. The main accused at this point still on the run. The cops have no leads on where he is, but that car behind you involved in that accident, in that hit and run, didn't even have insurance. Well, yes, these are emerging details of the case. Uh, the main reason why Mihir Shah, the prime accused father, Rajesh Shah, has also been detained because the car you see behind me has been registered in his name, uh, which is why the cops are also probing, saying that where is your son? Why are you trying to shield him? Where is he at this point in time? Why is his mobile number switched off as he continues to be on the run? But however, uh, you can see the extent and the damage of the car. Of course, it has uh, killed one person already. It is uh, very surprising that um, mur the murder section, a lot of people had been asking for 302 of the IPC also uh, to be added. But however, the police have not yet been able to decide uh, on that. However, one major factor is that both of them, Raj Rishi Bidawat, who was the driver seated next to the main accused Mihisha at the point, uh, at, at the time when the accident took place, both of them abandoned the car in Kalanagar, which is in the Bandra East area of Mumbai. And both of them took separate autos and uh, sort of, you know, went towards Palgar. But however, the main reason why Mihir's girlfriend has also uh, been picked up for questioning at the moment. I wouldn't even want to call it detained, but she's merely being questioned and thoroughly being interrogated because it is being said that after he ran away from the accident spot and after abandoning his car, uh, he went straight to her house. Okay, Dave, I'm going to come back to you. Joining us on the phone lines now is uh, Priyanka Chaturvedi, Member of Parliament. Uh, Priyanka Chaturvedi, just months ago we were talking about the incident in Pune, now in Mumbai to a hit and run. The accused is the son of a Shinde Sena Neta. Your reaction? The entire system collapse that we are seeing under this government is pretty obvious where they think that they can get away by this kind of uh, uh, A, rash driving, B, uh, getting away with a murder and thinking that the powers that be will support them. We saw how it happened in Pune that a rich businessman tried to defend his son and safeguard his son. He's today out on bail. What, what do you think will happen with this particular person? It's a shame that we still continue to live in a system which believes that power can get away, uh, get them out of every problem possible. This is shameful, and I condemn it, and I think the strictest action should be taken, and an example needs to be made that this kind of rash driving won't be tolerated. So far, the main accused is absconding right now, but the Mumbai police seem to be at least cracking down because the Shinde Sena Neta in question here, Rajesh Shah, has already been taken into custody. Do you think that's a positive sign that the cops are at least moving in the right direction here and not succumbing to political pressure? No, no, one second. Punishment, etc., and what police is doing comes second. First comes the arrogance of power that we are seeing that is leading to such situations. The, the precaution, the understanding that they, when they are at the wheel, they have to drive with some sense of responsibility. And running away from the crime scene and knowing who he is connected to, so clearly this is because Mumbai police will have to do what it has to because it is now out there in public domain and public knowledge. They will be forced to take action. And we, we just need to see how the, how the wheels of justice turn. And we would not see anybody coming in support of someone like this. And we truly hope that so. Is the, that's the crux of the problem. You know, we hope so. We hope a message is sent across with the strictest possible action. So these kind of, uh, you know, influential people don't think they can get away with these kind of crimes. Thanks very much, Priyanka Chaturvedi, for joining us here on India Today. So you can see right now the latest as far as this case goes is that the son, the main accused, the son of a Shinde Sena Neta, is still absconding. 24 years old, he was driving in uh, a car that didn't even have insurance. Insurance had expired in the white BMW that he was 
speeding in early this morning in Mumbai. Taking this back across to Dave Kotak. Dave, my apologies for cutting you off earlier, but you were showing us some of those images of the car and giving us details of why the accused's girlfriend now is being questioned, why his father also has been detained. Uh, well, yes, uh, uh, definitely the, the, these are certain people who are linked. Rajesh Shah, the father, of course, because the car is registered in his name. Uh, the girlfriend being questioned again uh, because uh, apparently it is being believed uh, that Mihi Shah uh, ran to her house uh, to try and hide uh, and seek for refuge and ask for help. So definitely the cops are probing her as well uh, to try and see. But also in the police press note, only one uh, person has been made as prime key accused, which is Mihi Shah. Uh, the others... Obviously, the cops have also understood and been able to determine the fact that it was none uh, other than Mihir who was driving the car at that point in time. But like I mentioned, that he is currently absconding and uh, they have launched a massive manhunt for him uh, because of his mobile phone also continues to remain switched off. So, of course, they're going to trace, uh, they're going to find out the CDR and trace his location to try and arrest him at the earliest. Of course, as you know, that uh, today's rash driving incident uh, is reminiscent of the Pune Port accident as well and in the recent few months uh, uh, this is uh, definitely uh, similarities uh, more than the in the sense that these are again uh, the India accused here seen... too is an influential person a youngster 24 years old at this point in hiding thanks very much there for joining us with those details we promise here on India today to keep our focus on the story and ensure justice for the victims in this hit and run in Mumbai